What is plasma cell leukemia? Normally, plasma cells stay inside the bone. And even with myeloma, plasma cells usually stay within the bone marrow. However, in some patients, these cells can escape into the blood. If you can detect uh, plasma cells in the blood on what we would call a more of a macro level, so in other words, if the pathologist and the hematologist look under the microscope and they see circulating plasma cells that are malignant, in high levels of this is called plasma cell leukemia. It's often associated with high risk cytogenetic features. It's often a little more aggressive and often difficult to control. What is plasma cell leukemia? Okay, this is a terrible thing that we've named this. I don't know why we named it this this way, it causes such confusion. So what type of myeloma do you have? That's one of my key things. Do you have easy to treat, intermediate, or hard to treat? What's the status of your myeloma? Is it controlled, waking up, or uncontrolled? And the last thing I ask in a small proportion of myeloma patients is where is your myeloma? Is it in the marrow? In, does it involve your bones? Is it chewing at your bones, causing holes in your bones, and increasing your risk of fracture? Is it in your blood? Is it slippery so that they can slip out of the bone marrow and head into your blood? If these myeloma cells are slippery and head into your blood, that means that they are already relatively chemotherapy resistant. Because they're so slippery, they tend to be able to travel. They are less like my in-laws, and they can go and flourish wherever the heck they want to. This is more aggressive. And in fact, if there's 20% or more of these things, we call it plasma cell leukemia. All that means is that it's hard to treat myeloma, and it happens to have a large number of myeloma cells in the blood. How do you diagnose plasma cell leukemia? So, on average, you do a blood test at a reasonable medical center, and they're going to do a CBC. Probably all myeloma patients here have had a CBC of complete blood count, white cells, red cells, platelets. On the white cells, they should do a differential, and they should obviously see the myeloma cells percolating along in your blood. That's how it should happen. Does it always happen that way? No. A lot of times people do differentials and they just look and they say, oh, there's some granulocytes, lymphocytes, and whatever, monocytes, something or other. Sometimes they miss the fact, wait a minute, these are all myeloma cells circulating in the blood. It's disturbing how often that is missed.